In 2012, Time magazine listed the top 10 most broken New Year's resolutions. It included getting healthy, spending time with family and travel. The Statistic Brain Research found that of the 45% of people that actually set New Year's resolutions, only 8% end up actually achieving them. I believe that our inability to sustain our aspirations come from the fact or exist because we have this focus on changing the externals or trying to change things from the outside in when actually what's required is a change from within, a change from the invisible world, the internal. The Bhagavad Gita says that when we focus on a deeper motive or a higher purpose or deeper meaning in life, actually then we can affect and impact the outer space. Simon Sinek says that when we understand why we want to do something, we can inspire effective change as opposed to when we just know what we want to do. It was Gandhi who told us that we find ourselves, when we lose ourselves in the service of others, who you spend time with determines what you dream about, what you collide with. It's almost that like your scope enhances when you spend time with advanced beings who help you find meaning in the seemingly uneven situations of life. You know, it's extraordinary how changing your life starts by changing your circle. Ringo Starr once sang, you can get high with a little help from your friends. Well, the Bhagavad Gita says you can get higher with a little help from your friends. It's amazing when you immerse yourself in positivity, encapsulate and engross yourself in an expansive energy that can transport you to a new place when you spend time with people who amplify your inner potential and not your external infirmities and insecurities. As human beings, we have this fascination with the end. We always want to know what happens at the end of a book. We want to know what happens at the end of a movie. We remember the last time, but not the many in between. And therefore we have this tendency to focus on the results and not really focus on the course or the method or the journey. It's amazing the Bhagavad Gita talks about how we should focus on the journey and not the result. And actually we should focus on the transformational period and find joy and seek joy in the actual process rather than actually waiting for what's actually coming. It was Leo Tolstoy who said that the changes in our life must come from the impossibility to live otherwise rather than just a mental resolution to want a new life. You can never take the world higher than where you visited internally. And just remember, it's not about how slow you go just as long as you don't stop. I really want you to get involved in this conversation and this dialogue as we think out loud together about our minds in this world. So please join and subscribe today. Look forward to you joining me.